Okay, so I just went over the skewing issue in another video when it comes to baking maps in Substance Painter. It's something like this right here. Okay, you see one side's larger than the other. Now, if you were to bake this mesh without average normals on, it wouldn't skew. Okay, but the problem is, of course, the edges here are now messed up. And so, there's a way to fix that, of course, using Krita. I did that in the other video, uh, where you create a mask and fix the uh, the textures in Krita, and then put uh, something like this here, reset it up and mix it. But we're going to do this in Designer now. We're not even going to have to go through this whole process like this. Uh, so what we want to do is go to Blender and your low poly model, go to the UV editing tab. Okay, and you're going to take the UVs and export these. So the same process here as that last video, but um, fill opacity, set it to 1, export it out to your textures folder, wherever that might be, with mesh maps, right? And, uh, lay out here. Just export that out, basically. So we can go ahead and open that up real quick. We'll get out of this one. Go ahead and just set up. A quick mask all right so we're going to be creating a skew mask now uh, if we control click here it's the same process as before uh, we select shrink selection something like uh, four or five or whatever whatever you need to get away from the borders a little bit maybe even a little bit more than that let's try doing in this case let's do eight now we're going to do select and we're going to do a feather selection We'll do just a three here, okay? So I can use the fill bucket, create a new layer. I'll paint this white, all of these real quick. Okay, and we'll create another layer. We'll color that one black, okay? So this is gonna be the skew mask. Let's save this real quick. Okay, save it right there. Let's go over to Substance Designer now. I gotta still launch it up, but so we're gonna bake in Substance Designer, and we can use the skew mask to keep um, anything getting out of control here. Explore new package, right click, create new substance graph. Oh, actually, graph. Um, we're gonna link a 3D mesh. So you need to export your high and your low poly from Blender. See, I have exports. I got a high and a low. We're just importing the low. So this substance uh, low model, I can go ahead and bake the model information. Right click on it. And now we can go ahead and add the high definition model from a file. You can see here's the high. Okay. There's all kinds of other things we can set in here. Like, so we can use, instead of values, we can cage, load in the cage file if we wanted to. Uh, but we can set up and configure all the different baking options in here. And so what we'll do is we'll add um, the ones we want to do. So the normal map from mesh, we're going to be doing the curvature map from mesh, and we will also be doing the um, ambient occlusion map from mesh. Yeah, okay. These are all at uh, 2048 right now, but we're just going to set these back to 24 real quick. Okay, ENG, zero. Subsampling if you want. Okay, all the different settings over here. Might want to bump these up a little bit for the bake here because we don't have a cage or not. So, you can ignore back faces. You can set matching by mesh name. Do skew correction. This is why we made that mask. So, we can go ahead and select it. Files. Go back to the textures. Bake maps. The layout. Oh, sorry. You mask. Load that in. And if it bakes out wrong, you can invert it as well if needed. So we can set up dilation here. Apply uh, fusion. Set up all your uh, properties for your different maps here as well. So you can the normal map, the curvature, fusion in here as well. And so what we should see is if we start this render real quick. Okay. 
and then baked all that out. Normal map from the mesh. Take a look at it. It is not skewed. Okay. Curvature map from the mesh. It is not skewed. Although the curvature is not very good. And ambient occlusion seems to be pretty good. All right. So um, these were exported out to a folder that I'm not really going to use. So let's go back to the model folder textures, baked maps. And uh, we can go ahead and export these out over here. So this will be substance IL1 FTX. And let's restart that render real quick. Let's take a look at our textures folder real quick. Okay. So what we should be seeing is just like this right here. Substance low. That's the naming convention we use. So uh, let's go to Blender real quick. And we'll go to layout for just a moment. We're going to hide the high, take the low cutter. Uh, actually, let's go to the shading tab. Create a new control shift T. If you have node wrangler enabled, you can do that. So we'll just load this in here real quick. Okay, so inclusion, curvature, and, and the, our normal map mesh, normal map from mesh. So we're not going to really be able to use the curvature. We'll just hook it up to um, which one? Kind of hard to tell. Huh? It's the ambient occlusion. Plug that one into base color for now. We're going to bring in the other texture. So in texture, curvature. We're just going to look at them on the model and. Asking for the sequence of all things, right? Click the wrong button. I guess I clicked the wrong button. All right, so there we go. Finally got it hooked up. We'll swap them here at the top point. That back up. So the um, normal map here, color, we're going to do a RGB curves. It's a direct X normal. So we select this green channel and then we swap these around. Okay, so I hit control space bar. Go zoom in on this thing and take a look at it. There we go. You see the normal map here is working pretty much flawlessly. Maybe an occlusion looks pretty good too. So if we unattach that occlusion. That's going to take a look at the curvature. It's probably flawless as well. Here's pretty good. So if you were to go ahead and import these textures back into Substance Painter, it would work out quite well in here. No problems, really. So if we want to do that, I guess we could do that real quick. Let's go ahead and drag and drop these into the project folder. Shift click, select through, select texture. Okay, so our texture sets over here normal, curvature, occlusion, the main ones. Let's take the ambient occlusion, plug it in, curvature, plug it in, normal map, plug it in. Let's see what we got here now. Okay. AO is a little strong, perhaps, but um, other than that, it seems pretty good. Not going to be able to get rid of that little kind of anomaly there, I think. Think of the one. That might still be a little bit of an error. Big mesh maps, real quick. Turn on average normals, and we won't replace the normal and then include curvature. So let's make that again like that and see if it's better. A little bit better. Press B. Not the AO. Not really the curvature. Could be. So it might be the normal still. That's squirrel. 
it's really not that bad. It's just the, um, you get a little bit picky about these things. You really have a hard time getting rid of that kind of sharp edge. Wilson. Possible to get rid of that with um, sharps on seams. From a distance, you probably wouldn't. But if you ever have to get this close to something, more than likely you're going to want to bevel this edge. As you reduce the angle of the edge, and you use smooth shading, right? Um, or uh, auto smooth, at least with uh, weighted normals, you should start to relax that effect there. It's a little bit. So you'll still have a little seam in there, but. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Gives you a good idea on how you can uh, do bakes with Substance Designer a lot quick, a lot quicker than a lot faster, perhaps than using Substance Painter, because you don't have to mess around with um, going from Painter to Krita or Photoshop or whatever. You just use Designer, take care of all your baking needs over there, for the most part. Let's throw a smart material on this just to check it real quick. What it looks like. Uh, steel paint or something. Okay. So yeah, it's not too bad. Not perfect, but not at all. Most importantly, this isn't skewed no more. Although, I think we might have got a little bit of a weird curvature issue here on the inside of this one. So we might have to tweak curvature a little bit. Well, might be just a material effect. Let's try it with a more basic material. It does. Yeah, it seems to be the material actually. So nearly as bad. All right, cool. It's good to know that. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. All right, take care.